In this video, I want to show you how to draw on your PowerPoint slide. Now, this will also work in Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. Now, I'm pretty sure it only works in PowerPoint 2016, uh, but it also might work in PowerPoint 2013. But it is a pretty new feature. First of all, you have to make sure the draw menu is actually on. Notice how I have the draw menu on right here. So if you don't have that on, I'm going to pick on the file menu. And under file, of course, uh, we'll pick on options. On the options, you come over here to pick on customize ribbon. And then if you have Excel, uh, if you have PowerPoint 2013 or 2016, you'll see an icon over here that says draw. And you want to make sure it is checked like mine is right there. I'm going to click on OK. That'll turn on the draw menu. All right, so there it is right up there. And we're going to pick on the word draw. Now, you can draw on a new slide or you can draw an existing slide as well. Now, um, this will work much better if you have a, a touch screen like I do here. Now, if you don't have a touch screen, you'll have to draw with your mouse. And it, it gets pretty tricky to draw with your mouse. You have to really control that. But notice over here, it says draw with touch. All right, so if you clicked on that and you didn't have a touch screen, then you can just, you know, try to move your mouse around. But it's much more effective if you have a touch screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And then you can really start to draw on your screen. So, uh, for example, I'll write my first name. I'm doing that with my finger at this time. And you can see there's my first name. Uh, now, a couple more things you can do. You can change the pen color. You have different uh, styles of pens, different thickness, as you can see. All right. So if I picked a, a, a darker color now or a thicker pen, then when I draw, then you can see it's the thicker pen and the different color. All right. Now, um, I can then change the color. Once I pick the thickness of the pen, then I can actually change the color and the thickness with these icons over here. All right, so you can really do many different pen styles. Now, let's see some more things we can do with this. Now, when you're done drawing, you'll click where it says Draw with Touch again, and that just turned that back off again. I just uh, touched that with my finger. Otherwise, you could have clicked that with your mouse. Now, let's try some di different things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, click where it says Draw with Touch. And notice how you have, well, let me uh, make that to a, a different pen again. Good. Now it says ink to a shape. Watch what happens when we do that. We're going to click on that. And now let's say I'm going to draw a square. And you have to connect the edges. And see how it really made a square there. Uh, it's actually converting that to a shape in Microsoft PowerPoint. And remember, this would work in Word or in um, in uh, Excel as well. And then uh, in, that in that case, I made a triangle. This time, I'll make a circle. And you can see it's actually converting this to a, a normal shape. Uh, now, I think with an arrow, if I make kind of a shape like this, it didn't do it that time. Let's try that again. Yeah, see how that time it made it into an arrow. So if you kind of, um, let's try that again. It's not always working with the arrow. There it is. Uh, so I don't know why the other ones are not working, but you can see uh, I just made an arrow. So first I picked on the draw with a touch. Now you can also use a stylus if you have a stylus, but I'm just drawing with my finger at this time. Uh, st a stylus would be a, an extra piece of equipment that you would buy if you have a touch screen uh, on your computer. Then uh, I'm going to go ahead and say ink to shape at this time. And then notice how when I draw, it'll actually convert that into a PowerPoint shape. There you go. Now, the other way to draw on your slide is when you're in slideshow view. So this could work on a, uh, an existing presentation. So I'll pick on the slideshow from the beginning. And you can see now the slideshow is running. When the slideshow is running, you're going to right click on the slide and then you'll pick on pointer options and you can either pick on uh, the laser pointer or the pen or the highlighter. You can even choose the ink color. 
I'll pick with the pen. And then I can draw on my slide that way as well. As you can see. Now that option has been around for a long time. And uh, again, uh, I just use the touch screen, of course. Otherwise, you'd have to draw with your mouse. Now, when I uh, am done writing the presentation, I'm going to hit the escape key. And notice what it says. It says, do I want to keep the ink or discard it? In this case, I'll pick on keep. And now you can see that is part of the slide. And it actually makes it, um, you know, a clickable item where you can edit it from that point. So that's the other way that you can draw on your slide. Watch again. You pick on slideshow from the beginning or from the current slide. And then you right click on the slide and you pick on pointer options and you pick on the word pen or even the highlighter is fine. And uh, if you want to, you can change the pen color. I just right clicked again. I picked on pointer options and I'll pick on ink color. This time I'll go with blue. And I might say something like Happy New Year because I'm recording this at the end of 2017. And I'm just writing on the slide uh, on the screen. Of course, you could also draw with your mouse, but that's a little bit more difficult if you don't have a touch screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the escape key. And at this point, I'll say keep. And I just made that part of the, um, of the slide. And that is how you can start to draw on your PowerPoint slide or on your Word document or on your Excel document as well.